This is my 2015 Tab Max S trailer. Um, today, it's time to put it away for the season. Um, the area that I live in, we get down to minus 20 degrees here in the winter. And I don't use um, any antifreeze in my trailer, so I completely blow it out. Now, this is not a video about blowing out your system in its entirety, but it's just a couple of tech tips. First off, there's been a lot of discussion about the two kinds of compressors that people use for this. One is a uh, typical pancake type, um, a couple of horsepower, um, you know, a five gallon tank, and the other kind, which is just a tire inflator, right, with a little um, thing. Um, this guy produces the same pressure as that guy but this guy produces a lot more cubic feet per minute this guy at 40 psi will generate about four cubic feet in a minute so if you look at the two gauges here this shows the temp the pressure of the tank and we're just about uh, 120 psi in the tank and this shows the pressure in the uh, hose and we are about uh, 45 psi so i've got that hose connected into my trailer and I'm going to show you what cubic feet per minute does. Now, what you're looking to do is you're looking to sweep out the um, uh, the water out of your lines, not just bubble it out, but sweep it out. So this is what a compressor that can generate about four PSI does. I'm going to pull the toilet here and watch this. That's crazy. You hear it. It blows a lot, a lot of air, and any water that's in there comes out. Now, that's not because it's extremely high pressures. It's at a 45 PSI. But this is due to the volume that that compressor can run. Now, here's the other tip. This is my shower, and it's just sitting on the ground. And I'm going to open the valve here. You hear how a little bit of water comes out, but what we're gonna do is we are going to unscrew the head in the head. See right here? See those little dinky holes? That is a volume restrictor. Now, see the big hole there? Now watch what happens when with, with this compressor. That's blowing tremendous amounts of air. I do the same thing at my sink. Here's my sink. Blows a little bit out, but if you take off, if you take the faucet off, see the absolute last bit of air that comes out of there? Tremendous, and that's because again in the bottom here is a flow restrictor. If you take the um, the faucet head off, then you have no flow restrictor, and it can blow all of that water out. So take your head off here and blow out your air. Take the head off here and blow out here. Now, this doesn't get anything that's back in my, my Aldi or any of that. That's a whole nother story. But this will just help you make sure that you get all the water out of your lines and your shower and your sink and stuff. This is the tech tip. Take off that shower heads 
and the sink heads before you blow your water lines out and use a compressor um, that has a high volume, not just a high pressure. Anyway, guys, just a quick tech tip. Uh, see you next spring.